Laguna Tilamu. The driving force to propel this fourth class municipality into marching towards development with zeal of excellence and zest for achievement as is steered by a man of vision and passion, perseverance and hard work. With these virtues, Lamut has been a consistent recipient of numerous distinctions in different fields of local governance which government agencies took notice of. Perseverance without fear or favor in promoting a healthy environment, the no smoking policy in public places, prohibiting sale of cigarettes to minors, and zero tobacco advertisements to all business establishments were strictly implemented. As a result, the Department of Health readily handed the Red Orchid Hall of Fame Award. Likewise, the voluntary blood services under the auspices of the Municipal Health Office has gained recognition. The steadfast implementation of Republic Act 9003 in conjunction with Municipal Ordinances on Waste Management and Sanitation, the Ifugao Provincial Government took notice of this local government unit's initiative and recognized LAMU as the cleanest and greenest municipality in 2018 and 2019. An environmental award for the endless efforts of the local government unit in protecting and promoting a sound environment. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, under its Rivers for Life program, recognized Lamut's rehabilitation efforts and bagged the top award as the most improved river among third to fourth class municipalities in the Philippines. The intensified Walang Plastikan Salamut gave birth to the eco bag production, to which the Solo Parents Livelihood Program had greatly contributed. It has also gained popularity to adjacent municipalities and provinces. Some have tried to replicate, but beyond comparison, as it needs political will, setting aside political suicide in its implementation. To date, Walang Plastikan has immensely contributed to a clean and sanitary environment. The massive tree planting at the Governor Sosimo Paredes Eco Park was participated by government agencies, non-government agencies, barangay local government units, and the local government unit of Lamu as the municipality's contribution in saving Mother Earth. Lamut has also been a consistent regional awardee of the Seal of Child-Friendly Municipality, as it always supports the youth as the hopes of the fatherland. It caters to the needs of the constituents from womb to tomb, the infants, the children, the young and adults, persons with disabilities, solo parents, and the senior citizens alike. Premium attention and care were extended. As such, the youth under the Municipal Social Welfare Development Office, in conjunction with the local youth development officer, faithfully participated in various activities of the municipality. Lamut is a fast-growing business center of the province, having had various economic opportunities and the upsurge of business investors. The economic programs are propelled by a good economic management as evidenced by the mushrooming income generating infrastructure products. At least five to two-story buildings at the public market housing a large number of tenants. The organic buildings for organic agricultural products, the Iringan Hall, which caters to various occasions, and the native houses and kubos found at the tourism village. The Lamo Trading Post and the new slaughterhouse will soon be open, with this number of provincial offices all contributing to boost the economy. The Department of Trade and Industry in its sixth cities municipalities competitiveness index ceremony in 2018 recognized Lamu as the second overall most competitive municipality in entire the Philippines among third to sixth class category. In the same ceremony, Lamu bagged the number one spot in entire the Philippines in resiliency for the local government unit's disaster preparedness. 
the municipality then piloted the regional nationwide simultaneous earthquake drill. In the field of peace and order, national laws, local ordinances and issuances were strictly implemented without fear of political repercussions. The Public Order and Safety Aids, or POSA, was organized as one of the deputies of the Philippine National Police, along with the Barangay Tanods and the BPAS, who were all mobilized in peace and order as law enforcers. The intensity of the helmet law implementation alarms every rider while in Lamu. Minors and adults alike do comply, whether along the Poblacion of Lamut or in the interior barangays and schools. In fact, Executive Order No. 50, Series of 2019, calls for the search for the best barangay implementers of municipal ordinances as an encouraging gesture to curb criminalities in the municipality. In the spirit of sharing, these highly acclaimed recognitions the municipality localized them into the barangays, baptizing the seal of good local governance as Panagdidin Nangay, the Red Orchid as Pegad de Cigarillo, and the cleanest and the greenest come beautiful and healthy environment barangay. The barangay's performances shall be rewarded this Rambakan festival. Therefore, it was not a surprise when the Department of the Interior and Local Government awarded to the Municipality of Lamut the highest distinguished honor of local governance, the so-called seal of good local governance, not only once, not only twice, nor thrice, but for the fourth time since its conception in 2013 for all LGUs in the Philippines. Having nurtured and portrayed the virtues of solidarity oneness and cooperation as our capital to the renowned distinctions our officials and constituents do once again come together and partake in the challenges of assuring our children and the next generations a livable and progressive municipality. Hagio Agbyag Tilamot